Hi, welcome to my second part of my tutorial on how to configure Profit Trailer to work with the STP PSAR. In this video, I'm going to show you more detail on how the parameters uh, are shown and how they change the way the bot behaves. I hope this is useful for anyone trying out. Again, I suggest you start with test mode bots only for a while so that you know your strategy is uh, according to your risk management and so good luck to everyone so I'm going to go and change all the config and copy paste my config from what I shared to you guys configuration on profit trailer is done in two different ways this little cog in top you can choose configuration of the portal itself such as for example in user settings you need to define your test mode balance if you want notifications it can be notified you can be notified via discord or telegram this can be for a later time then SSL if you want to input and make it HTTPS which I recommend you do I just will not show you how to do it here signal providers so if you have used PSAR if you want to use PSAR you need to buy this uh, add-on which is called PT Trading View integration. It costs five euros a month or fifty euros a day, a year. Sorry, and then it allows you to integrate your alerts into Profit Trailer. The way to get it is the same. You go to the shop, and here you have add-ons, and here you have PT Trading View integration. When you buy it, they send you a link with a token ID. The token ID is going to be something like signal and then random string. Your alerts have to be configured using this random string and I'll do it in a bit. Configuring the bot itself, you have to go here and press config. Choose active config and here as you can see is a bunch of text, there are different parameters. As I told you this bot by default the config is all wrong so don't trust this don't start the bot with this the bot will work in very strange ways if you leave the default configuration so I share my pairs DCA and indicators config so starting with pairs as you can see here pairs I'll copy all of this and I'll paste it here and now you'll see what it does so I choose the market which is USDT I choose I want to do trading. If you put this to false, it stops trading. The sell only mode is kind of a panic mode where if you see the market going crazy and you don't want to follow trades and you don't want to you know, keep buying DCA, choose here false, choose here true. You can also press here global sell only mode, SOM. You can press here and it automatically goes into global SOM value. So this will also allow you to stop the bot from DCAing further. So. I allow max trading pairs of 15. I fluctuate this number between 5 to 20. And then I allow any pair. If you want, you can specify which pairs you want. You can do XRP, BTC, ADA, etc. Whatever you want. In my case, I'm using all. I allow DCA to start at NEG05. This is NEG05%. So once a coin or a pair that you have a deal as in three, three commas goes down by 0 0.5, it goes from pairs into DCA. You'll see that in a bit. All of these parameters have explanations on the Wikipedia. If you, are, if you want to know more about it, some of them are straightforward, but if you want to know more about it, just Google on, or let's say search it here on the Wikipedia. The wiki is your friend. Use it always. So I allow a default initial cost of 2.5. This is 2.5 dollars of margin, and my leverage is 20. So this is 20x 2.5. So my initial position is 50 dollars. Of course, I use cross. The second part, which is the DCA. Sorry, I need to save this first. Pressing this little thing, it's saved. Now, if I go to DCA again, I configure my bot with my settings. DCA is 
similar so the coin goes into TCA once I have a negative 0.5% uh, profit as you see now I saved it so now it appears on uh, coins are starting to appear on my possible buys DCA says the leverage when I DCA is 20, 20, 20 times, it's cross and as again I auto DCA leverage calculation true so every value I see as in these ones it's considering it's not considering the leverage this is important I allow six times DCA each time of the each time I do a DCA I buy a hundred percent of the bag so if I buy a one BTC first DCA I'll buy one BTC second DCA I'll buy two BTCs and so on and so forth so by the end of this I'm always doubling the amount this is basically what you do in 3C if you choose two times scaling you will need to do your calculations to figure out how much you need to change this if you want to follow a different strategy and then profit percentage this is how much at what levels I'm actually going to buy so if I'm at next 05 I'm going to do DCA one time. I'm going to use a safety order. If I'm at NEG 095, then after NEG 095, I'll do again DCA. If I'm at NEG 170, I do another DCA and so, so on and so forth. How do I do DCA? I do DCA only when the percentage is at this level and as you can see here the strategy, co the, the formula, it says I will DCA when the percentage is at this level and my low BB, which is the Bollinger Band, is at 10. So which means I'm in the bottom of my low Bollinger Band. This is my strategy, you can choose whatever you want. I also had here a possible strategy, which is I'm going to DCA only when the profit is negative, when low BB is low, and when the signal star is signaling buys. I tried this, but because it's on a downtrend, usually when you are DCAing it means signal is not going to be fired so this would actually not fire that many times so I changed the formula I used to have this with C as well as you can see here now I only have A and B then I have OR this is the logic I have the strategy to buy in DCA is A which is the profit percentage and B which is the low BB or D and the D, what happens is, if I am close to liquidation, as you know, we don't want to get liquidated. It's better to have a sell order, stop loss, just before liquidation, than letting your price go and get liquidated. So the idea here is that I will buy in this kind of condition, this condition, and I can also buy if it goes close to my liquidation price. So this is how it works. I, I buy in percentage and li low BBs or I buy when liquidation is close this is this D I never had to worry about this so far because I use low BOSO then I have this parameter here which is DCA buy timeout because sometimes the coin you buy it it keeps dipping and it, it buys straight away again it keeps dipping and it buys straight away again so it's not getting a reversal as it should so I put a timeout of five minutes I don't allow I don't want the spot to just fire buy 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 I just want it to buy but at least have some buffer so five minutes for me is working and when you are on DCA then you have also same strategy you have a gain of 0 0.6 percent you can increase this or decrease it as much as you want and you can additionally do like for example I want to sell when gain is up and high BB is also so when I'm reaching the high Bollinger Band I also want to sell so this if you do this combination of stochastic RSI of high BB and gain you are probably going to find that you are selling at the top instead of just selling when the percentage is met this is very powerful of course then you might be stuck because you never actually reach the high BB you never actually reach the stock stochastic RSI so that's why it's important to have stop loss and take profit and basically I'm going to save this and the third one which is very simple so the third one which is very simple is indicators in here you can configure indicators, the sampling, the length, whatever you want. I have mine set up like this. Okay. Profit trailer has such a learning curve. All of these parameters have an impact. If you don't test this out, you will get into trouble. If you don't run test bots, you will get into trouble. So now that I configured all of the indicators, DCA and pairs, and I saved it, my config here is Snow Futures USDT Long. 
you can see here this is how my bot is, is currently it has zero balance in test it has zero balance it has zero balance so I need to tell the bot I'm gonna have some balance in it so because it's test mode you can put whatever value you want you go to this little cog you go to user settings and here you put the value that you have on your portfolio sometimes it just bug, bugs out and here appears zero straight after but don't worry just keep trying that and you go back to monitor and now you got ten thousand dollars because of my configuration I have possible buys so every coin that I have which is top 200 according to a certain volume I have here the coins every coin is here all the coins show you also the strategy to buy it says A SAR B EMA spread and it says true as you can see here the colors are also different A and B it shows that SAR has not fired but EMA spread has been true so if SAR had fired this for any reason and if it had fired this would come as true and true and the bot would then do a buy so this is a basic config we went through how to start the bot we went through how to configure the bot how to change the active config how to understand more or less a little bit of introduction on how the conf this, all these parameters work understand how DCA works these are specifically to my port my, my profile my config my strategy you should adapt this to your own you need to do the math to know at what values it means to buy and indicators is just to support the other parts and I showed you also how to configure here user settings test mode balance and and that's it one thing I've been forgetting to explain is that this is the basic default view dashboard of this profit trailer I suggest that you change this into the new enhanced better UI to do that you need to press here you need to go to user settings and enable better QI and save another thing that I recommend is that you give a name to this bot so I named the folder first bot so here I'm going to name this bot first bot as well first to STT bot and I save it this will allow me to identify easily in profit trailer manager which bot I'm actually changing because sometimes you have multiple USDT bots which one is which we don't know this is the best way to do it uh, it will take a while for this to update and then it will change into the name that we defined because we changed the UI to the better UI it is recommended that you restart the bot to do that you press this little button here it says restart command has been issued in a second you can see here restart command has been sent okay and now the this dot is red as expected the bot is restarting with the new UI I have to give it a couple of minutes okay my bot has restarted it has a green dot next to it it also changed the name as you can see to first USDT Log pressing here it starts my bot as you can see the UI is slightly different it's actually very different it is the navigation pane is on the left and you can choose different things this is the same thing as before except config is going to be on account settings user settings notifications all of this is here possible buys positions so instead of having DCA and pairs separate all of your positions will be here signals is here if any signal has been detected it will be appearing here on a list and then you have this amazing part which is stats which will tell you the daily profits the spent the drawdowns you can choose many things and I'll show you on my personal bot how this is this concludes the second part of my tutorial and then the next one I will show you exactly how my bot was behaving